We now know the names of the two motorcyclists killed in a crash along East 14th and Washington Avenue last night. Good evening, I'm Janae Town. Thanks for joining us. Des Moines police say 51 year old Jerry Coles and 47 year old Christy Hyde were both killed. A third rider, 46 year old Stacy Coles Bailey, was seriously injured and is now in the hospital. Police are still searching for the suspects in a car who they say took off after the crash. WHO 13 Stephanie Johnson joins us now and Stephanie, you're here to tell us more about how people are remembering the victims. Yeah, Janae, a memorial has been set up for the victims. Today, the family members of the victims came to show their respects. He was a good-hearted man. I mean, he was he was the type that would, you know, give, give his shirt off your back. Danny Sorter is still shocked about the tragic death of his best friend, Jerry Coles. And I just can't believe that it happened to somebody like him, you know? Witnesses tell police at the time of the crash, 51-year-old Jerry Coles and 47-year-old Christy Hyde were riding on the same motorcycle. Jerry's sister, Stacy Coles Bailey, was riding next to them on a different motorcycle. They were all traveling southbound and were about to turn onto Washington Avenue when a 2016 Mercedes-Benz struck the motorcyclist within the intersection. All the witnesses have described it as being a very high rate of speed. After the collision, it actually continued on and was uh, struck a utility pole and was able to shear that off. So we're, we're pretty confident that speed is a significant contributing factor to this. Fortunately, Jerry's sister Stacy survived the crash, but she was left with serious injuries. She has broken fingers. She's cut up all over, but her face is fine. No head or internal her injuries. She has, she has a broken femur, a broken thigh, broken ankles. Her wrist is broken. Her fingers are broken, but she's holding up. She's She's expected to make a full recovery. Stacy's son and daughter are happy their mother survived, but they're heartbroken about losing their uncle. It breaks my heart for my little cousin, though, like, and all of them, like, they already lost their mom when they were little, and, you know, their dad was all they had left, and, and now he's gone, too. Jerry's best friend has this advice for motorists. Out for, you know, motorcycles, you know, it could be, be something small you don't know. Now, police are still searching for the suspects involved. Tonight, a balloon release and candlelight visual will take place at that intersection of East 14th and Washington Avenue is scheduled for 8 p.m. Jerry's children also raising money for his funeral expenses on Facebook. We will provide a link for you on our website, whl13news.com. Okay, we'll look for that link. Thanks a lot, Stephanie.